You know, I, I, on a slightly different tack, I, I saw a very short video clip of Trump at the funeral of the police officer in, uh, I guess, Long Island yesterday. And I, I couldn't help but think what a mockery this son of a bitch made. According to news reports, he was invited to come to the funeral of this officer. But, and there the orange son of a bitch stood, lying through his teeth. Rather than comforting the people, he's standing there making his filthy anti-American political statements. And the only reason he went, the only reason was the hope that when he is put on trial on April 25th in New York, that he'll get a hung jury in his upcoming election interference trial, a criminal trial. I know, they're calling it hush money. Fuck that. It was an election interference trial. As if this bastard cares a damn about police officers, only insofar as they can protect him and allow him to continue his destruction of this country. He sent six cops to their deaths on January 6th in an attempt to overthrow the government. Officer Sicknick, who died of a heart attack, the other four or five who committed suicide after this, after that, after the January 6th insurrection, a, a, attempt to overthrow the government. You know, cops are dedicated. I know mean, good cops, bad cops. Good doctors, bad doctors. The whole Catholic clergy in this country is totally fucked because of their... Uh, the, the massive amounts of them who like to bugger little boys and molest little girls. So, you know, good cops, bad cops. I understand. But the people on January 6th, the uniform officers who were trying their goddamnedest to protect the Capitol and who afterwards must have felt a sense of failure and they couldn't handle that sense of failure. They couldn't handle it. So they committed suicide. Does Trump talk about that, that filthy son of a bitch? No, he doesn't. He doesn't care about the cop who was killed in in, uh, uh, Long Island, the one who was killed the other day by the crazy-looking son of a bitch who, who committed the murder. Trump doesn't give a shit about that, but it gives him another chance. It's like holding up a Bible upside down in front of an Episcopal church near the White House. I don't think there has ever been a more hypocritical slime ball in politics, and that's saying something that was as filthy and dirty and rotten and immoral as Donald Trump. Oh, boy. You can uh, you can probably tell 20 minutes into the podcast that uh, I've had a lot on my mind. That's what I'm sharing with you. And and then this this bullshit Bibles, trading cards, perfumes, sneakers that this this grifting son of a bitch has been hawking and peddling. But the Bibles, those are just some of the products that the orange bastard is is, is out there pimping while he tries to unseat Joe Biden. And I, I mean, think of it. You remember the stakes, the scented candles. Um, the wine, Trump University, he's a goddamn midway barker selling shit. And he was president? This empty suit, this brain dead fuck, this old doddering blobber <laughs> idiot? Ah. Oh. But now, you know, his, his campaign coffers, he's had to spend everything on legal defense. And his so-called fortune, oh, I know, I know, the, the merging of Truth Social with some other company, that's, that, that is fucking air. That's going dis- to disappear as quickly as it showed up. Ooh, what did I read the other day on one of the news, uh, news stations that uh, Trump stood to gain $6 billion <laughs> from this sale of Truth Social that... That has lost forty five million during the first year of his existence. Yeah, right. Okay. Anyway, Trump, who never never severed his 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 little scummy business career from his political bullshit, like most uh, people who wind up in the uh, White House, if they have business deals, they put him in a blind trust. He didn't do that. 
But the orange filth is now actively mixing up his so-called business ventures with his White House bid. <laughs> um, the, the, the Harvard Law School professor, Lawrence Lessig, told CNBC, the uh, uh, NBC uh, station that carries uh, business news, this professor said, quote, there is no precedent for this level of business activity during a presidential campaign. The trend has been building with Trump for many years. I can't think of any other modern example of a presidential candidate hawking an array of goods for their private benefit, end quote. Yeah, no shit. And Trump has single-handedly, I've said this before, he's left the legal profession in total disarray. Uh, the political system has been beaten with a fucking meat cleaver by this monster. The Christian religion has been shredded by the assholes who think that he is somehow related to God. I mean, every single thing this crazed bastard touches starts to rot until it's stinking and covered in maggots. This is what Trump does. I I don't know how he does it. These people that worship him, you better understand you're worshiping the person your religion warned about for two millennia. The Antichrist, there he is. The beast. And everything Trump touches, rots. People lose their careers, they get disbarred, they go to prison. And and yet, there are still people who 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 say well i'm gonna i wouldn't vote for joe biden no well shit no look what biden's done to the economy Ugh. what has biden done to the economy well um well he has stupid 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 hi true seekers mike malloy here you know the progressive voices network brings you commercial free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me mike malloy 24 hours a day I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.